are going to be creating some patterned winter mittens. So we're going to start by creating a confidence building drawing where we get to draw the shapes together. But of course, as always, you can change or edit the designs to make it something that you feel really proud of. So to create our winter mittens, we are going to start with a simple outline of an actual mitten. So to do that, I'm going to start by making a huge rainbow line that comes back not quite to where I started but close so it kind of looks like a J floating in the air then I'm going to make the little thumb of my mitten and you can even trace your hand if you'd like to try that too but I'm gonna make a thumb coming up a little bit smaller and then down to where I started okay again we're going to do this on the other side but opposite because as we know when we wear mittens we have one on one hand and one on the other so I'm gonna come up tall for the big part of my mitten and then I'm gonna make a smaller little J for the thumb. Now, I like to make mittens that have big furry cuffs on them. And to do that, we're going to start with some bumpy lines at the base of the mitten, and then come back around and bump to the other side. So I'm making a big furry end. Again, bump at the end here, and bump to the bottom and we've got big furry ends there. Now sometimes what we do to hold our mittens together so we don't lose them is to create a little line. It's like a chain that goes inside your jacket. So we can create that little line from one end, make it twist and curve and twirl, and then come to the other mitten. Then we're going to practice some patterns. Now, as you know, a pattern is something that repeats. So as long as it happens over and over again, it can be a pattern. And sometimes today when we're making our mittens, we're going to try making them so that what I do on one happens on the other. So for example, let's say I make a zigzag line first, then I'm gonna go over here and make a zigzag line on this one. If I make a second zigzag line at the top here, I'm gonna make a second zigzag line over here. So I'm going to start by making some big line shapes first, and then I can go back in and start adding some smaller details. Remember, your patterns can be different than mine because you are your own artist that has your own ideas. So I'm going to make some little hearts kind of floating in this middle part here. And then I'm also going to make some smaller designs like, hmm, I think maybe I want some little wiggles at the top. Like I just dipped it in some snow. And then I'm also going to do, hmm, maybe a straight line at the bottom for to kind of break apart that design and a straight line down here. Now, since these mittens are sort of showing us that it's a cold winter day, you can also add some snowflakes to the background. And my favorite way to make quick snowflakes is by starting with a bit of an X shape, sort of like a skinny X, and then cross that skinny X and then design the edge. So at the end of all of my X points, I've got a little dot. I can try another one over here. Skinny X first, cross the inside, and then I'm gonna do something different at the end, like some lines. And I'll try another one down here. Skinny X, cross this one, and then let me try some Vs. So these are speedy ways to make some snowflakes in the background of your mitten design. So think about how you can add your details to make your design something you are proud of. And as always, when you're done drawing, then it is time to color. Ooh, let's see, maybe I'll make some little ovals or some little teardrop shapes on this one. Perfect. Now you can use any tools that you have around you to color, just like colors, um, coloring crayons or markers, oil pastels, anything you have around you is going to work perfectly. All right, time to color. I sure hope you had fun coloring in your winter mittens. Remember, you are strong, you are resilient, you are amazing, and I love you. We'll see you next time, artists.